Hello and welcome back. We have finally reached the point in our application where we're going to start looking at doing the actual implementation of the passport library as well as the authentication strategy. We're going to be implementing the local one in our HTTP server. So up until this point, we've been putting all the moving parts that we've needed to, to get a basic server up and running. And now the very next step is to start wiring up the, the routing onto the login route and then create a set of routes that will need to be kind of locked down and authenticated. So before we actually start implementing the code, let's just take a step back and, and take a look at a high level flow of how the authentication is gonna work. When we go through this flow, I just want you to keep two things in mind here. Just remember that HTTP or RESTful type APIs like we're building in this case, they designed to be stateless. So that means every single request is treated as like an isolated entity that doesn't know about any of the other previous requests or requests that are going to come. It just only knows about its own data that it is being requested in, in that request response cycle. So in terms of authentication, this does create a, a challenge for these kind of stateless servers. The way that we typically do this is implement some kind of strategy to add a layer of authentication on top of, of the request. And so you'll probably be familiar with these type of things. They're either cookies or some type of token-based data that appended to each request. The server will be able to take that piece of data through the token or the cookie and then validate whether it's a legitimate validated request that can access certain sensitive endpoints and stuff like that. So I've put together this sequence or flow diagram here just to kind of explain what we're going to be doing specifically. We've got our five verticals here um, on the, the far left, we've got the client and then we have the server and then the next up passport, our database, and then something called cookie sessions. So we start from the, the top left, the client. And in our case, what we've been using throughout the course is Postman. We're going to initiate a, a login post request to the server. The idea here is that we're going to use a function called authenticate from the passport library. And this is going to be wired up to the, the login route. And then this is going to initiate a whole lot of passport middleware that's going to be doing the heavy lifting for us in terms of putting the pieces in place to kind of go through a typical authentication process. So that layer between the server and passport is going to be invoked by the, the authenticate function. And then it's going to, through a series of callbacks, give us information and a callback for us to be able to verify that the user is actually in our database that the password that is coming through on that, that login request is correct and valid. If both of those checks are passed, it's going to return the result back to the passport authenticate function. And then it like kind of hand it back to our server to kind of do whatever we want to do with it. And at this stage, we will create a an authenticated session and we will serialize that information through the use of cookies. And we're gonna make use of a package called cookie session. So that serialized data is going to then be signed and then it'll be returned back to the server once that validation of a successful user has been sent back to a server, then we can then create a session. And the, the idea with the session is that it's going to store that extra piece of data on a future HTTP requests in the form of a cookie. That's the strategy we're going to use. We're going to use cookie session to kind of serialize and stuff some information in there. In this case, we'll just be like a user ID and then we'll sign that session. And so once the cookie session does its thing, it's going to send that flow back to the server and then the server then will respond with it. 200 okay uh, setting the the authenticate or, or the cookies containing the the information that we need as well as the mechanisms to kind of validate that every request with that cookie is a valid one and we can just go about business as you okay so that's a very high level overview of how the authentication process is going to work for the case of the the login endpoint and that's the the endpoint that's going to be doing the work to to authenticate a user let's take a short break here in the next lesson, we're going to actually get back into Visual Studio Code and start wiring up Passport and the local strategy into our server to get this all up and running. So I'll see you on over there. Cheers for now.